Okay, so questions on uh, collecting data, sampling and uh, bias. So we've got a question here where Dan is doing a survey and he wants to find out how much time a student spends playing sport. He's going to ask the first 10 boys on the register. So the question says, uh, this may not produce a good sample, give two reasons why. Well, the first thing is that a sample has to be fair and if you've got a gender uh, situation then really there ought to be uh, boys and girls being asked. So the first reason this one's not fair is no girls in the sample. Um, it's also going to ask just the first 10 boys on the register for his PE class. Um, it may be unfair because it's not giving all the boys a chance of being chosen. So, again, unfair. Not all boys have a fair chance of being chosen. Um, when you're doing surveys and things like that um, at the foundation level it's pretty often um, a random sample would be the fairest way to do it because uh, that gives every person uh, in the population a fair chance of being chosen. The second part of the question says design a suitable question um, for Dan to use in his questionnaire to find out how much time students, so we're about time here, um, students spend playing sport. Now the thing about designing questions is um, they must be time related to make it easy uh, for somebody to reflect and uh, look at it. So time related means things like per week, per day. Um, so I think for this one it would be sensible to do it for per week. So a, a suitable question uh, would be something like um, how much time to the nearest hour do you play sport per week? So we've got the time related in. We also need some response boxes because the idea of this is it's going to make it easy to collect the information. So in the exam a minimum of three response boxes um, should be fine. So if we have zero hours for those who don't like doing sports at all and it's close to the nearest hour we could say the next box is one to two hours and the third box could be three to four hours and the fifth box has to be that one where somebody does uh, five or more so five or more hours again we're being specific here because we said to the nearest hour so it's either zero hours one to two hours three to four and so forth and this allows everybody to tick just one box only so that's um, a good question you could also be asked to criticise questions. So here we've got uh, an example. She's carrying out a survey. Uh, she used two questions. So the first one says, what is your age? And the question goes on to say, write down one thing wrong with each of these questions. So question one, what is your age? Uh, we've got under 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, over 60. Well, the classic kind of um, problem with this kind of response is there's an overlap here because the response boxes should allow you just to tick one only but what if you're 40? So what's wrong with question one? We've got overlapping response boxes. Where does someone who is, where does someone who is 40 tick? Uh, question two, uh, should you eat fruit every day? Do you agree? Uh, you do agree, don't you? Uh, yes, no, don't know. Um, so the responses themselves allow people to say yeah, that, but it's a biased question because it's leading you because you do agree. So this is what we call a leading question, which you should avoid. It's kind of suggesting to you that you should agree with eating fruit every day. So it's a leading question. It's biased towards responding yes so that's a quick summary of the kind of questions you get to do with sampling and uh, questionnaires